Good morning, everyone. Happy Vlogmas Day 6. My troll is at it already. We're back. <laughs> so, since I have Mike's attention at the moment and he was just about to start snacking, we're gonna do the cheese advent first and get both of our cheeses from the past two days. Starting with day five. Why do you open to a place where there's... <laughs> where it's meant to be. I have the Mediterranean Gouda. What do you have? Mature cheddar. Oh, okay, so we're swapped. This is what you had that day, right? When Did you have mature cheddar? Yeah. Okay, so yeah, all we're right. just swapped. So we're swapped That's on fine. that one. All right, all right. You wanna go ahead and open the other one before we... Try or you want to try first? Oh no! We, yeah, we can open. And then day six. It's shaped weird. Oh, it's a different shape. Jeez. Ooh. Black pepper. Black pepper gouda. Oh yeah. Okay, so we matched on that one. Black pepper gouda. Let's open seven. No, you must wait. No. <laughs> yeah, you must no. wait. And now we can get Here some crackers right. and have some crackers with our cheese. He's ready. No, you must wait till tomorrow. Okay, Mediterranean first. Well, well no. mature cheddar for you, Mediterranean for me. Okay. Cheers. Mm -hmm. mm. Nice and herby. Definitely needs a cracker with it though. A little strong to be by itself. Mm. Mm -hmm. And then we have the black pepper. Cheers. Cheers. I almost said cheese. Black pepper. Cheers. Mm, I like that one a lot. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. It's good. Gouda. Gouda. <laughs> well, I'm about to run to Publix, but let's do these before I go. Day six. We have. Oh, there's Dwight. Look at his glasses. That's fantastic. Ready for Dwight on day six. And yes, it is Monday. We're going with the uh, natural look today. <laughs> I wore makeup the last few days. We're going natural today and just running errands and uh, hopefully no one from work wants to uh, video call me today. <laughs> if so, I don't think they can really tell the difference on the camera anyway. So we're going no makeup today and there are 19 days to go. So let's see what we have today. I don't even know what they're barking at. I don't know. Let's see. Ooh, the pockets, adhesive pockets. She always does this and they're super cute. So you have the rainbow and then this one that has stars. So you can stick it to somewhere in your planner and then it has a little pocket. Very cute and useful. So it is Monday and I feel like my weekend was very hectic because I went to St. Pete on Saturday and then Sir Henry's last night. So I feel like I didn't really get a nice weekend day to fully recharge because I don't know if you guys are like me, but as an introvert, an outgoing introvert, but an introvert nonetheless, when I know I have something, for instance, I knew I was going to the event last night. So pretty much the whole day I was preparing <laughs> to go out to that event. So even though I was home all day yesterday, I didn't really get to fully relax because it was always like, okay, what time is it? Okay, I've got three hours. Okay, I've got two hours. Okay, I've got one hour. That's just how my brain works. So yesterday didn't feel like I could do anything aside from prep for going out to the event. And I had so much fun at the event, but today is going to be my 
recharge, get things done day. So I'm about to go out to the post office, mail my Christmas cards and the first stack of cards I have for you guys. I'm gonna check the mail, see if there's anything there. And then I'm going to Publix to get us some groceries. We don't need a ton of stuff because we're getting another Green Chef box on Wednesday in theory. They've been late, so maybe Thursday. And we still have two meals from last week's box to make. So I'm making one of those tonight. But we need just a few things around the house items and obviously things for lunch. So I'm doing that and then I'll probably just do my more like office work on Monday. Like I have to submit a timesheet, just kind of go through my email, clean things out, just kind of get prepped for the week, make my planner for the week. I do need to do my planner. See, I'm thinking of things as we're talking. So I need to do my planner and kind of map out what I'm going to do as far as work for the week. And uh, that's what today's gonna be. Today's gonna be a getting back on track day and then I kind of always do that on Mondays where I leave Mondays for my more office related work and then do grants the rest of the week. So that's my plan. Publix is done. In line for Duncan. I did an online order for Duncan. And I'm a little concerned because I see a lot of like sold out stickers up here. I think they're sold out of like everything I ordered. <laughs> Duncan made me mad this year. They only brought out two holiday flavors and my location is already sold out of one of the holiday flavors. So the white chocolate is already sold out. They only have the peppermint mocha, which is what I ordered for myself because I knew the white chocolate was sold out. But now it looks like their holiday blend is also sold out, which is what I ordered for Mike. So <laughs> they'll probably just give him original blend, which is fine. But that's the struggle of their app. Their app does not reflect what their stores actually have. So if you order on the app and you get here, they might not have it. I know I can't be too picky right now because with COVID there's so many supply chain issues happening. I don't think you should sell out by December 6th because it was actually, the white chocolate was sold out before we even hit December. So unless they've got another shipment and just didn't take all the stickers off, it was already sold out before we even hit December 1st. I wonder how long it's gonna take I know we're still like in the pandemic and I know we still have these variants that are coming out so we're not out of the pandemic but I wonder how long it'll take for everything to return to somewhat normal as far as supply and demand and all of that good stuff. Right, so here's my festive peppermint mocha. I'm not normally a peppermint mocha person but since they didn't have white chocolate I went for it. It's pretty good. And then I got us each some of the everything bagel bites as our lunch because it's already after 1 p.m. and we haven't had lunch so I got us some of these to have with our coffee. Here's the grocery haul from Publix. Like I said we didn't need much because we've got two Green Chef meals and another three Green Chef meals arriving so I did get some kielbasa so that Mike can try his sauerkraut one of these days and see if that's good. Florida doesn't have nearly as much sausage selection as Texas did go figure but this is actually a Texas brand. I think we tried it and liked it, so we're gonna see how that is. Had to restock my Publix popcorn, because as you guys know, this is my favorite snack, and my Publix has been going through popcorn droughts every once in a while, where I get there and there's no popcorn. So I went ahead and bought two bags, just in case. I gotta be, gotta be safe. <laughs> when it's there, I buy two, just in case I need to go a couple weeks with it. So I just absolutely love it. It's fresh popped in the store, and it's delicious, and as you can see. Very affordable. So that's my Publix popcorn. We need some more of the Chipotle Tabasco sauce because that's one of our favorites. Some creamer, mostly for Mike's coffees, but every once in a while I've been drinking iced coffee because if Starbucks and Dunkin' were gonna forsake me with the gingerbread, I couldn't go all season without gingerbread. So I ordered these. So I have an amaretto and a gingerbread and it's pretty darn good. Is it getting me through the season? Yes. And then I spotted this and thought we needed to try it because it's a cookies and cream version. We've liked their other cookie dough. This is edible cookie dough, so you don't have to bake it. You can just eat it and enjoy it. And this was cookies and cream version. So thought we needed to try that out. While I was searching for the kielbasa, I found this, which is another Texas brand. And these sounded really good as pigs in a blanket. So I got this. We'll probably make those at Christmas, but I went ahead and got them now. And we'll have that for maybe Christmas Eve, we'll see. And then, like I said, for lunches this week, we're gonna have some sandwiches. So I got ham for Mike, turkey for me, and I got two different bread options, a hoagie and a sourdough. And then I love this stuff. 
and it was mixed into that one salad we got from Mazzaro's. So I thought I felt like that would go really well on our Sammy's this week. Plus, we really liked the other Sierra Nevada mustard that we had, and it's almost out. So I thought we'd try the stout and stone ground version this time. It looks really good. Thought that would be a good combo. I absolutely love this at Christmas time. So I got us some of this, although we don't really have room in the fridge for it. So that might just be a pour over ice situation. And then at Thanksgiving, my parents brought a couple different dips and we still have a lot of dip left over. So I got Mike some wavy lays and some ruffles because he does love chips and dip to snack on. So got him some chips to dip in the various ranch and French onion dip that my parents brought. So there you go. That is, that is it for this week. Like I said, didn't need much. So I went to the PO, as you guys know, and I got this shirt from Jennifer, which is fantastic. Colby's asking me to go OUT, but yes, love it. Very fitting for me. <laughs> Perfect for next Horror Nights. And then we also got a card from Patricia. Pretty reindeer. And a nice little message inside. So I'll send you a card back, Patricia. Patricia hopes that you get everything on your Christmas list. What they want is to go out. So I guess I'm gonna take them out. <laughs> but you gotta be good boys. Well, my Christmas stickers didn't arrive yet. They're coming this week. So I am going to use this partial kit that I had from a previous Christmas to put together this week. This one thinks it's dinner time, but it's not. You're too early. You're too early. Well, it's a little more scattered than I normally like, <laughs> but here are my stickers for this week. And now to fill it out and make it feel like my life actually has some order instead of chaos. So now I must plan, but I can't show you once it's filled out because that would be spoilers for what's to come because it's a daily vlog, not a weekly vlog. So you guys must wait. And this is all you're gonna get to see, but now I'm gonna fill it out. When the boys had their dinner, oh my gosh, look at that happy face from Ashton. Are you so excited for your advents? Oh, they're so ready. They're so excited. Let's see what you get today. Hmm? Let's see what you get. Oh my gosh, we actually got it right today. Everybody get some stars. Everybody says, yes, good boys. Ashton, Bostick, Colby, oh, oh no, well, Colby, Foster, Colby, easy. There you go. Good boys. Happy vlogmas. That's it. Day six. We're done. It's time for dinner, and I am making the green goddess sandwiches. We've had these before from Green Chef, and it was delicious. And this time, we actually have the yellow squash instead of zucchini. So I'm excited for it. Again, unintentionally Christmassy. Well, I'm having to audible. I started making the green goddess sandwiches. In fact, the potatoes are already in the oven. And then I pulled out the yellow squash and it has gotten frozen. I think it was too cold where it was. So it's all just no good anymore. So uh, everything else from the recipe, this was looking a little sad too, but everything else from the recipe was fine. So I'm gonna audible. And I'm gonna make the creamy vegetable pot pie tonight and then I'll get a new squash and a new pepper and make this and I guess I'll get some more potatoes <laughs> or something or we can just have something else as a side. Coming back to that another night, tonight we're gonna have this. Thankfully the oven's already preheated to 425 and I can just move on. Mike's gonna get some potato appetizer. <laughs> Here's Mike's appetizer. <laughs> Take it. 
product it looks really good and then we still have about a third of it left up there maybe not a third maybe a quarter of it up there for leftovers so looks yummy well I've got rosy cheeks because I was over the oven quite a bit during the baking of that but it was delicious definitely a thumbs up for that one well I look a hot mess because I am kind of hot at the moment from all the cooking but I want to go ahead and answer a Santa hat question because Mo Arumba is about to start and I cannot film that while he is vacuuming and it's going to take him a little while. So let's pick a question for the night. Colby's in a mood. Colby desperately wants somebody to play with him. I want attention. Somebody. Oh, the tail though. Hello. Play with me. Play with, oh my gosh, the head on the shoulder though. Okay. <laughs> a fitting question for what's about to be happening behind me. By the way, if you're wondering where Bean is, just staring directly at me. This is, uh, this is life. So it's from Smiling Sammy. And she asked, if you could have a pet other than a dog, which pet would you have and why? Also, do you miss being boozled? You know, I can't say that I miss being boozled. I'm sure some of the viewers miss being boozled because it was hysterical, but, but my taste buds are not missing it at all. As far as a pet, realistically, I think I only want dogs. I don't think I ever want anything other than dog. But if we were living in a fantasy world where you could have any animal as a pet, I would want either a red panda or an otter. If I could have an otter or a red panda and actually keep it as a pet in a way that was logical and actually made sense, if that was actually a thing, if we had domesticated red pandas, sign me up because they are stinking adorable. There's so much personality and they're just so cute. I can't resist them. So comment down below, same prompt. If you could have any animal in the world as a pet, what would you choose? I want to know your answer. So there you go. That was our question of the day. Thanks, Sam. Save the chocolates from behind the cabinet. And it's your turn. Day six. Leave a slice for Santa. No. Have you looked at the backs of these? Yes, I have. What'd you get? Oh, snowman again. And then it's time for Doctor Who. Jeez. Mm -hmm. Ooh. I don't I don't automatically recognize it. Oh. Oh, that's because it's old Doctor Who. There have been different versions of the TARDIS key, but this memorable one was used by the third Doctor in Planet of the Spiders, 1974, the final adventure for John Pertwee. Is that how you say his last name? Mm -hmm. He passed the key to the fourth Doctor, Tom Baker. So that's some original Who lore there. That's pre-my time, but Mike watched the mm -hmm. original. Did you recognize it? Mm -hmm. Or... I thought it was probably a TARDIS key, but <clears throat> I wasn't sure. There you go. Very cool keychain. Never got to actually see it. I tucked Colby in. We'll see how long he lets that stay. <laughs> probably not too long. So you guys saw in the previous clip that I tucked Colby in. Well, I came in the bedroom to give my mom a call. So I'm talking to my mom on the phone. I'm sitting here on the bed. And I see Colby come walking in and he's wearing the blanket. The blanket is just still wrapped around his body and he comes walking in and just plops in his bed to be near me. 
<laughs> still wearing the blanket. So it looks like I tucked him in, but no, he did that to himself. He tucked himself in. He brought the blanket from the living room. <laughs> oh, I tried to get my phone to take the picture, but I was already on the phone with my mom in the process. So I could take a picture of that same thing you're seeing now. That's as quick as I could be because he literally just strolled in and went straight to the bed. So <laughs> he's done. He's done for the day. Sir, that's that's my spot, sir. Sir, I, I need my spot. <laughs> the tiny little tail wags. I still need my spot, sir. Um, can you scoot? <laughs> Good boy. There's a whole lot of sofa over there you can have. You definitely can't lay on top of Bean. He's not gonna like that. <laughs> but you can have any of those spots. Just not that one, that one's mine. 9 p.m. Just had a lovely hot shower. Now I'm settling in to watch some TV. We've got the chairs up because Mo is vacuuming. So Mo's doing his thing. And I need to watch some Vlogmas. And I think I have an episode of Sister Wives from last night. Do you guys watch Sister Wives? <laughs> I love it, it's one of my guilty pleasure shows. So I have that to watch. And I think that's going to wrap things up for day six of Vlogmas, but I will see you guys again tomorrow.